The intent of this video is to discuss why World War II Japanese fighters tended to attack the B-29 bombers on the right side rather than the left side during beam attacks. The B-29 bomber was defended by 12 Browning AN-M2 machine guns housed in five turrets and operated by five gunners. This image outlines the bomber's defensive armament locations and arc travel of each one of the turrets from a declassified October 1943 Handbook of Operations detailing the B-29 central fire control gun system. All of the documents shown in this presentation are declassified. The bias for right-sided attacks can be inferred from the data contained in this chart from a February 1945 operations analysis report, combat performance of the remote control turrets of the B-29 aircraft. The x-axis is the direction of enemy aircraft destroyed or probably destroyed based on the hands of a clock. This image represents a clock orientation overlaid on a bomber from a 1944 Bomber Aircrew Gunnery Manual. The 3 o'clock direction is perpendicular to the right side of the bomber. The 9 o'clock direction is perpendicular to the left side of the bomber. The y-axis is the number of enemy aircraft kills per clock direction. The tabular data in this image rolls up the number of enemy aircraft destroyed or probably destroyed based on the bomber gunner crew position. 32 of the 175 enemy aircraft destroyed or probably destroyed were claimed by the B-29's right gunner. Only 17 of the 175 enemy aircraft destroyed or probably destroyed were claimed by the B-29's left gunner. The B-29's right gunner claimed 88% more kills than the B-29's left gunner. This chart represents the number of enemy aircraft encounters per bomber's clock station. The 3 o'clock station was attacked during 212 of the 2042 total encounters. The 9 o'clock station was attacked during 126 of the 2042 total encounters. 68% more Japanese enemy aircraft attacked from the right side than the left side. The right side bias for either enemy aircraft attacking or bomber kills is consistent. The report concludes the low number of B-29 left gunner kills was due to the infrequent encounters in his field of fire, as shown in the previous charts. B-24s flying against the Reich did not experience any attack right-left bias, as shown in this document, representing 1,022 German enemy fighter engagements based on this May 1944 2nd Bomb Division document, removal of the lower ball turret of the B-24 aircraft. The B-24's right and left waist gunners both experienced 158 engagements. No attacking side preference was observed in the data. So why were Japanese bomber interceptors attacking B-29s from the right side rather than the left side? I believe the answer lies in the B-29's higher right side vulnerability. Let's unpack this premise. A B-29's left side is better protected than its right side. B-29's flew in a 12-plane formation, as shown in this image from a 23-page April 1945 Army Air Force Board report, Countermeasures Against Ramming Tactics by Enemy Aircraft. The formation's bomber turret safe fire arc travel is shown in this image. It's difficult to see in this 2D image, but the formation actually has more guns to bear in the left direction than in the right direction. This image from the same report rolls up the number of turrets covering the formation's clock direction. The formation's right side 3 o'clock level direction is protected by 12 turrets covering that zone. The formation's left side 9 o'clock level direction is better protected by 22 turrets covering that zone. The Japanese interceptors are simply exploiting the B-29 bomber's formation reduced right side gun coverage during beam attacks. Let me know if you believe the data presented provides sufficient evidence justifying the reason why B-29's right side was attacked more frequently than its left side. 